Honorable Cabral Libby fumes at what he qualifies as a complete misuse of the ordinance in Cameroon. The MP adds it is used to ossify the arbitrary and this with the guarantee of parliament which at the end of each finance law grants permanent authorization to the President of the Republic to sign ordinances or budget matters leading to the awards of contracts which yield scandalous results. Cabral Libby believes the increase in the cost of procuring an ID card in Cameroon shows that state leaders are above ground and do not have plans to reduce the poverty affecting Cameroonians, especially low-income earners and the unemployed. Ordinances and laws which reach the National Assembly no longer print the will of the people but the self-interest of state officials. Cabral Libby furthers that Cameroon has entered the closed circle of countries where the ID card is the most expensive in the world. All these to enrich banditry networks. This has forced him to question the essence and role of the state in protecting its citizens. Another reaction to the increase of ID card stamp at 10,000 francs is that of Christian Timban Bomo, civil society reconciler. Such an increase to him is void. He evokes Article 87 of the 2024 Finance Law, which states that the President of the Republic is empowered to make by way of ordinance modifications to finance, tax and customs legislation. The government is authorized to use the new resources resulting from these measures to meet its commitments. Christian Timban says, Upon analysis, it appears clear that in order to legislate by ordinance, Article 28 of the Constitution requires that the authorization of Parliament indicates the period during which the President of the Republic is authorized to legislate by order. However, Parliament has never set such a deadline. This therefore results in the nullity for illegality and unconstitutionality of the order taken by the President of the Republic 